look away from the train wreck. You can blame it on the tag or the disrespect. Before you play, better button check. Button check. What is up, Butt Check family? Welcome back to it again. A beautiful day of checking these buttons. Thank you for tuning in this evening. We got some hot ones to say the least to check. Sub button down below if you guys want to subscribe. Help the channel grow. On the race to 65K, so close. Thank you guys. And of course, some chapters down below if you want to skip around because we got some hot topics. Dirty Low is going to join us at the end of the video for the last story because that one just popped today and I need that man's perspective because either way, you, you already know he's gonna pop off. So without further ado, let's check these buttons. Let's go. All right, now into them first set of Street Fighter VI Terry Bogart theme music officially dropping buttons that need to be checked. So the official Street Fighter account on Twitter posted this, I think it was just, uh, yeah, just yesterday, saying Fatal Fury's Hungry Wolf continues his journey, experience Terry's fighting passion and fun-loving attitude through his theme, they posted down below. FGC's already going bonkers over it. We'll cover some of the reactions after. I actually haven't seen this video before, so let's check it out for the first time. Let's go. All right, let's see what you got, Terry. Oh, I'm gonna stop it right here. Them, them horns is funky as hell, ain't they? That's some funky ass horns. Okay, let's keep going. Damn. You know, back in the day, y'all, real quick, I used to be boy. I used to teach the damn classes growing up. I used to teach, uh, you know, not only my friends, but inner city schools when I moved to Texas. Anyway, long story short, this reminds me of some stuff we used to jam to. We didn't only just dance to hip hop. It was like some damn horn music, some James Brown, some funky stuff. And this kind of reminds me of that same vibe. Let's go. All right, let's check out some of them FGC reactions. I'll see if I can play it in the background while we're doing it. Don't want to just listen to the whole thing, but y'all get the point, right? You know what I'm saying? So right here with Mena RD saying instant main. Other people say, <laughs> saying banger or that's a good one or rock this on your pre-stream tracking uh, Bravery Arcade. Uh, Ed has the best theme song. Can we get more uh, bangers like that, please? Oh, shit. What the fuck? I just realized who posted that. It's fucking Demetrius Johnson. Mighty Mouse. What the fuck? Holy shit, he said Ed has the best theme song. Oh my God. Mighty Mouse. Mighty A. If you happen to see this, baby, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. I can't believe you actually were commenting on the damn Terry theme song. That's what's up, baby. FGC bringing people together. Anyway, continuing on, you're getting a lot of uh, good replies. A lot of people think it's hype. You get the memes, <laughs> you get the video, and yeah, Terry's on the way, and Bogus Journeys is here just in time. I told you we had some shit, didn't I? I told you we coming back on Sundays. If you don't know, every Sunday, until we announce otherwise, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. I'm sorry, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, Bogus Journeys. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, we're trying to bring back that old school flavor. The Patreon will have it a week in advance, but either way, I'm talking too much. How y'all feeling about that Terry theme? Let me know. All right, next up for them Dragon Ball Fighters broken ass, busted ass, wonky ass patch buttons that need to be checked. Everybody is talking about this. I guess they, apparently they just updated the game. I'm seeing all these posts from like starting yesterday. Uh, yeah, the one that caught my attention, because a lot of people were like either liking it, retweeting it, or dogging the shit out of it, was this one right here, and I'll put it on the screen. It says, the fighter's patch is generally a holocaust 
for fighting games. I love this game for so long and have come to generally hate it. And this patch has solidified that so much or has solidified that so much because what the fuck have I been labbing? Uninstalled that game I genuinely uh, will never touch this again. Okay, and you see down below, like I said, it got some mixed reactions. I think likewise, it got over a thousand, but a lot of people are concentrating on this word right here, Holocaust. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck? Why would you use that as a metaphor? Why would you even compare a fucking Holocaust to gaming? Like it's not that serious. That's what a lot of people are saying, right? Well, I see Chris G responding as well saying, people caught up on that word, but I get exactly what this person is talking about. I used to really like this game, but gave up due to the increased nonsense. This patch solidifies a lot of people never touching it again. Same thing happened for a lot of people in Street Fighter V. Continuing on right here with Big Bird, he says, as someone who only played Fighter Season 1, uh, what have they done to this game? They turned it into Mugen, this can't be real. They turned it into Mugen, this can't be real. And then they're commenting on this clip down here. Check it out. All right, so Punk even responds to that right here saying, yep, I'm super duper uber not getting back into this shit, commenting on the same clip. Uh, others right here saying, now you can do a special cancels with Spark. I can do this, bro. And then from there, it's trending. Everybody, even today, I see clips everywhere of people talking about broken fighters or just crazy ass circus shit that you could do now. I'm gonna post a few clips in all the uh, content creators down below. Definitely check that out or check this out because the shit is bonkers. Let's go. And wrapping it up right here, even Maximilian, right? Some people are attacking him saying he should react to a bunch of broken clips, uh, a bunch of clips of broken fighters. He responds saying, I will 100% do this when I get back. From an outsider perspective, it looks like Arxis handed the game over to Namco and they turned it into some sort of wild party game. Others responding saying it always kind of looked or fighters always kind of look like a party game to me. The moment I saw Super Dash and auto combo or auto correcting while continuing on with Max says there was a lot of wild mechanics, but also many limitations when Arxis was in charge. Those opened up a little in season three necessarily, I might add, but some of the stuff I'm seeing now looks insane. So there you have it. I feel like 
this has happened a few times with fighters, right? On one hand, people talk about the game is dying or it's just dead. You don't really see too much traction with it. Not too many people talking about it. And then bam, a patch comes and either people are talking about, oh, now it's dead. Now it's completely dead or now it's completely broken. And we've seen this before, but now it looks crazy. But some people saying, nah, it's just breathing more life. It needed it. Why not? It was on the fucking, you know, life support as it was. So why not do some crazy shit? How y'all feeling? Let me know. All right, and next up, believe it or not, for them Dr. Disrespect coming back tomorrow, buttons that need to be checked. Holy shit, I just saw this because it was just posted today. Apparently, we've been seeing tweets. He drops little shit here and there. The man is actually talking about returning in some sort of fashion, some, some type of form of fashion tomorrow, right? By the time you're watching this video, it is Thursday, September 5th. He's talking about coming back Friday, y'all. September 6, 2024. He posted a trailer, all right? All I saw was the photo, was the, uh, what do you call it? The screenshot that people are posting saying tomorrow. I haven't seen the full thing yet. It's like fucking two minutes long. What the hell could possibly be in this trailer? But of course, I have to watch it with Dirty Low because Dirty Low is the one that put me on Dr. Disrespect. He was a fan of him. I'm a fan of him. I knew of him, but I never watched him. Just wasn't my cup of tea. But Dirty Low knows the backstory. He also just found out he's coming back tomorrow. So we're going to watch it for the first time. Let's get Dirty Low. Let's go. All right, as promised, Dirty to the Low. Woo, is I'm here. here. The Chief Geek's back, Chief aka Geek. Mr. Bellagio is here. Let's go. All right, Mr. Bellagio. <laughs> Mr. Bellagio. Um, I had to bring him in because when the Dr. Disrespect story first started, you were here. Oh, yeah. And you kind of did the follow ups with me. So now the man posted, I think, just today. Let me look at the date real quick. Yeah, Ooh. September 5th. Just today, a trailer. I haven't seen the trailer, trailer. but I've seen screenshots. What? Well, on the screenshots, everything just says tomorrow. And there's different news sources saying he's coming back tomorrow. So apparently this trailer is him is fucking... Is that like a warning to, like, young girls? <laughs> like, is, is that like, did he, is he posting a warning? Well, another reason, another reason why I wanted to have you is because I remember originally you were saying you were a fan of his, and you were like, this yeah. is disappointing, and all this other yeah, stuff. Yeah, it breaks my heart. I was a fan of his. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, all right, let, let's have a fan. Let's all have right, a fan right. of his. So I don't know what to expect. I just know apparently he's coming back tomorrow. Let's watch it. Pretty good production value. Is that him speeding on the boat? Man, it's a real fucking trailer. Yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> the dump, bro. That's why I love the dump, bro. That just <laughs> sucks. Dang. This is a pretty legit trailer, bro. So far, so good. The suspense. <laughs> oh, man. How much money did this cost him? Really, really I was about to say, is this fucking real yeah. with this AI? What the fuck? <laughs> Combing his mustache. Like, it's an everyday thing, just right. driving a crazy speedboat. It looks fucking yeah. real. Like, he's in a speedboat. Like, there's a chopper, there's a speedboat, yeah. bro. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Is this... Is he, like, racing the chopper? <laughs> <laughs> like, He's racing back. Dude, that's insane. That looks crazy. <laughs> that looks crazy, son. What are you doing, Doc? He's racing back to the screen. Yeah. On the road, this is kind of weird. It, 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 it's, it's... I think it's longer than it needs to be. It definitely is longer than it needs to be. Okay, so they're actually going to show him go to okay, the island? Go. They could have cut like 10 seconds out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. What the fuck? Okay, so that's CG for sure. So I was, uh, yeah. yeah, so some of it's going back home. Arena. Fucking statue of him. Champions Club. 
We're just getting started. Oh, man. <laughs> Tomorrow! I mean, the, the oh, trailer... Oh, my God, bro. The trailer was cool, but I was like, dude, that must have been a very expensive shot because it went on forever. Oh, like, the reality man. is he could have cut five seconds off that easy. Oh, yeah. yeah Easily. Yeah, yeah. But you it know, must have cost him money, so he's like, no, I'm going to I'm gonna have every frame. This is so expensive. I mean, he was trying to build up that suspense. Now, before we get into how we feel about this, he actually responded, like, below this. Okay. So I'm going to put it on the screen real quick. He says, uh, I guess he's talking, like, what people are going to say. He said, where is he coming from, Epstein Island? Uh, it's a PDF, <laughs> not a DOC. Uh, he blocked me. Uh, let me take a screenshot and post it. And then, of course, people are responding to that. So, yeah. Must have passed uh, by a boat of a 17-year-old <laughs> <laughs> or something here. Bro. You knew that was coming. Right, you know, no way the comeback yeah. video is a boat driving to an island, bro. Yeah, so pedal going to an island. So yeah, that's why Doc said what he said, uh, and it continues. So there you have it. A lot of people saying Epstein Island, even posting <laughs> <laughs> Epstein right here. Arena full <laughs> and the parking lot as well. Arena gonna be full. Okay, so look, <laughs> a lot of people. Bro. No, we know. Let me let, let's look at how many likes this has. Oh, because you know it does. It has over what well, twenty five thousand. Okay, okay. Now on his site, how many followers does he still? He has a million still. Oh yeah, following him. Okay, so we 2. knew 5 that. Two point five million. We kind of said that in the past. We said <sighs> it's weird, but even though all, the, all these allegations, if you have a massive fan base, you're always gonna have people that have your back. Yeah. No matter what, even if weird shit pops off. Him talking to a minor shit pops off. There's always going to be that select few of people that stick around for whatever reason, right? In this case, it looks like he's betting on it because the motherfucker is coming back. And like we were saying, he's almost doing it like an evil villain. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like coming in, like, coming in speedboat to Epstein Island. <laughs> just super predatory, bro. Yeah, he's laughing. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like he's leaning into it. Like, all right, y'all want to make me the bad guy? Yeah. I'm coming back as I'm the, the bad, bad guy. I'm the bad guy. Now I'm a real predator. But, but... I'm a super predator. <laughs> like the predator. What is that? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm opening up a series of check cashing places and offering high interest loans. I'm predatory lending. That's what's up. <laughs> but what the f So I do believe there's certain cases in life when you should steer into the steer into the skid. But when you're when it comes to being a pedophile or being accused of oh, talking yeah. to a minor, then he admitted that he did it. There, I don't think this qualifies. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, ah, I'm the bad guy. I'm yeah. talking to minors. Like, wait, what? Like, how are you exactly going to come back? Is he going to shed some more light? Yeah. Is he going to start trying to gaslight some shit or maybe even, like, expose other people? I don't know. Or is he just going to come back and stream? I think he... I, I don't know why he made such a big deal out of it. If it was me and I was trying to get back, uh -huh. that's me, a super predator, that's okay? <laughs> a two-time Blockbuster <laughs> Video Game Awards champ, Okay? Yeah. I'm just going to come in low key. I'm just going to start. I'm not going to make a big deal of it. I'm right. not going to post it. I'm coming back. I just come back. And you just do it. Right. And if you want to move forward, you just move forward from that. Like, you made this giant, very expensive thing and put a target on your back. Yeah. But maybe that's what he chose because the reality is so many people are upset. Yeah. That the upset people might tune in for a little bit. I, to see what's I, going on. I would on, imagine. See what he just say. So this, he can get like amazing numbers, like right off the jump. Right off the jump. But will it last? That's the thing. After it fizzles out, I think the only people that still have his back are going to remain. But what's that number going to be? Because he had huge numbers, obviously. Hmm. But the other thing, the bigger thing is like, I don't think any sponsors are still going to be willing to touch him right now. So he can come okay. back and he can still probably make some money. But compared to what he was doing, it's not going to be shit. That's what I would imagine. Because the big, one of the biggest things is the sponsors, all the endorsements and whatnot. These are, that's millions. That's money, baby. But now he's too hot, so he can come back. But, and that's the other thing too. Who the fuck is letting him, like, is he not banned? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't I don't get it either, dude. So, it does, none of it know. makes sense. I get that he wants to come back, but it's like, bro, you can't come back. And this is soon, bro, yeah, bro. This is soon. It broke my heart. I love him, bro. I love the Champions Club. I love the Lambo. I love all the pep talks in the locker room. 
I love it, bro. Yeah, I love the, the two thing. time. It, like, I always knew, obviously, I heard you talk about them. Yeah. I knew of them, obviously, like most of us did. Just never watched them. So I never knew what the hype. I just thought he dressed up. And I was like, all right, it's a guy that dresses up and yeah. people like him. You know it's a saying? good character. It's His a persona. good character. The yeah. persona is just a fun, good character, cocky. Yeah. You know, I kind of, I, I relate with it. You know, okay. I kind of have that same type of energy. Yeah. I enjoy the, I enjoyed the content. He's a good player. He's an amazing FPS player. He's stopped here for sure. I've seen okay. some amazing stuff on his clips. But I just can't go down that. Like, I've helped raise a girl. And she's a teenager now. Mm. And I just mm. can't imagine some dude who's my age mm. DMing her. Mm. I just, I can't stand for that. I just can't. So I, yeah. I just, like, it's horrible to see this. I'm like, bro, I get it. Right. You have every right to come back. But what you did was wrong, bro. Yeah. I can't stand for it. I can't be a fan of yours it's anymore. Just, it does come off like super like egotistical like yeah. a narcissist like instead of just like you first of all you admitted you did it yep and then you admitted you shouldn't have done it yep right but he still goes on to say i'm not a pedophile like he always uh, said that even though he admitted he talked inappropriately I mean, sometimes to a, a minor yeah but doing it this way it almost comes off to where like i don't know it's just the timing seems really care. fucking weird like, it was i like, don't care it, yeah, like I like I just don't know any other way. Fuck y'all. I yeah. don't care enough to to really care. Yeah. If that makes any fucking sense. Now here's what we got to do. If it is tomorrow, we got to make another video. Oh, man, <laughs> I gotta see because there's gonna be if, outrage. If, if, if it is tomorrow, we got to make a video, and it might just be about that. I mean, I assume everybody's gonna be watching just to see what, what, what the shit show is. We got to. You I know don't what think anything can come in. I think he'll just stream. I don't even think he'll bring it up, bro. man. He'll I, he'll be like, it's good to be back. He'll be cocky. He'll go into the he'll go into matches. He'll stream. Yeah. He'll play. He'll talk. I don't think it's gonna be anything crazy. It'll yeah. probably be a crazy intro. Probably high production value, like he does. Not really address much, and just go into in gaming. Yeah, well, I think that's what's going to happen. We'll see, y'all. Much anticipated. It oh, is yeah. insane the way he's doing it. Oh, but yeah. either way, these are these buttons. How y'all feel, let us know. There it is, ladies and gents. Definitely let me know how you are feeling. Thank you for the amazing support. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And I want to give a quick shout out to the latest Patreons. We got Truck Vegas, if I'm saying that correctly. Just became a $5 member. And then we got, is it Aspect? Uh, just became a $1 member. Thank you guys. And I know you guys were, I hope you guys are enjoying that new bogus content because once again, uh, each bogus episode will go on the Patreon a whole week early. So you guys on the Patreon get to, you know, see it first. Thank you guys for the major support. And bogus journeys will be on this channel every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. I'm sorry, I keep switching the time. It's either nine or 10, but right now we're going with 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you for the love. And if it's not tomorrow, we'll definitely post the next day. And as always, I don't know what it is, but I know it's about to get better. Love y'all forever. Peace. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe. Oh, yeah, let's try to see lady. Whoa! Wait, what was that? Whoa, okay, don't look at that too long. Wow. I just want, I just want to see the ghost of the ones. Whoa! Look at that! Wow! Why is your hand there? You can't like, move it over just like a little bit. <laughs> oh, I'm, 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 I'm,